and developing right now at 5. A man is shot and killed during a possible robbery at a corner store in Philadelphia's Brewerytown neighborhood. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden is live at the scene with new information. Joe. Yes, good evening. A very active investigation unfolding behind me here at 27th and Montgomery. Late word from high ranking sources in the Philadelphia Police Department. It is believed this was a drug dispute that went sideways. Apparently a third person intervened in what was a fight, pulled out a weapon and fired. Felix Rodriguez, owner of Madera Food and Grocery, believes what happened just inside the door of his business wasn't any robbery. He says his worker had been fighting with others outside the store at 27th and Montgomery. And the kitchen guy, maybe no, the guy, the guy in the street, and he tried to, to fight with the other guy, and that's why they fight with the, the customer. Early reports suggested the shooting was originally the result of the store's cook trying to stop a holdup in progress. Philadelphia police sources confirmed that was the preliminary focus of the investigation. When Eyewitness News got to the scene, the victim's lifeless body remained just inside the door. It's unclear how many times he was shot. Eyewitness News also captured video of police taking two men into custody. We're not identifying them since it's unclear if they had anything to do with the fatal shooting. The man police say is the shooter was being questioned by Philadelphia homicide detectives late Monday afternoon. Ebony Spencer, a frequent customer, says she sympathizes for all involved in whatever played out here Monday afternoon. I feel for everybody, 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 you know, somebody lost somebody, you know what I'm saying? And on top of that, the people that could have been injured. You know, you know, what about their family? You know what I'm saying? So they shocked too and they afraid too because they've been around here for years. And late word again from those high ranking Philadelphia police sources. It does appear to them the evidence suggesting this was a shooting in self defense. We are flushing out these developing details surrounding this incident. I'm back at six with the very latest as we continue to work our sources. I'll see you then. Live in Brewery Town, Joe Holton, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Joe, thanks.